So let's say you're trying to see what the pattern looks like between two irregularly shaped parallel plates. One way you can actually see what the field would look like is by passing a very high voltage between the two plates and sprinkling something that which is uh, non-conductive, such as grass seeds, between the two plates. And you can see the grass seeds line up and thereby see what the pattern will look like. Now that's rather dangerous because you have to use a very high voltage. There is another way around it where we can actually simulate what the E-field would look like, and we'll figure that out in today's episode. So what we have here is an E-field simulator box. If you open it up, contained inside is actually carbon paper. Now the carbon paper you'll be using are the ones that have pre-tracings on them, but we'll start off with a blank slate, just so that we know what's happening here. What we're trying to do is that you're trying to pass a voltage through this carbon paper, such that the voltage gradient that you'll see on the measured paper will match up to that of what an E-field would look like. So you'd attach your apparatus in some fashion like this, and at the end of the day, after you've done all the probing, this should look very similar to this picture over here. And that's what you would expect with two point sources, which is what we have here. Now this is a little too easy. You're gonna be dealing with a graph that looks something more like this guy here. All right, so we're gonna have some rather unique pattern that we're going to be analyzing. Now when you set this experiment up, make sure that you press firmly on the positive and negative paths. If you don't do that, your results may be erratic. And what you're generating between these two is electric field. These silver lines over here, it's actually created using conductive ink. So if you measure the voltage across the entire conductive path, it should be relatively uniform. Now when you conduct the experiment, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be measuring the voltages at each and every individual point, all with reference to your ground plane. And once you're done, you'll probably have a picture that looks something similar to this. To analyze this pattern, first thing we gotta do is that we have to apply voltage onto this carbon paper. You want to make sure your power source is set at five volts. So you'll be testing it at the leads to make sure that it even works. Unfortunately, with our older power sets, sometimes you have one channel working and the other one broken. In this case over here, the left channel is broken, but the right channel actually reads a voltage. And I've already set it carefully to five volts. Next thing you're going to do is that you're going to probe your circuit or your carbon paper onto your power supply. And once you've done that, make sure you double check. Make sure the voltage still reads at five volts or somewhere thereabouts. And then following from here, what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to probe the voltages at each of these contact points, observing what the voltage is at. For example, right over here, if you can see the readings, the voltage at this corner is at 1.60 volts. Over here, this is at 1.52, 1.40. So this is an assignment not to be done individually, but you're supposed to work along with it with your partner. So you have one person reading out all the numbers, and you'll have the secondary person copying all the data down onto a piece of paper that looks something like this. And then once you're done collecting all your data, you will then process it. You ready? Yeah, all right, ready. from the origin, 1.56. 1.48, yep. 1.34, yep. 1.20, yep. 1.04, yep. 0 0.79, yep. 0 0.65, mm -hmm. 0 0.50, mm -hmm. 0 0.43. So when you conduct this experiment, what you're essentially doing is you're finding regions where the voltages are roughly the same, and you'll have numbers marked down where the numbers are identical. And then you would link them all up together. These are known as your equal potential lines. So these are regions where the voltages are identical and they do not fluctuate. And what we have noticed through other fields, not only electric fields, but gravitational fields as well, is that the equal potential lines are orthogonal or 90 degrees to the electric field. So once you're done drawing your E field, you will then take a pen of a separate color and then you would draw lines that cross through your E fields, and you'll ensure that these lines are orthogonal to your equal potential lines. So that once you've completed this drawing, you'll have something that looks like this. Now each diagram will have a different outcome, and that's your objective, to figure out what the E field pattern would look like based upon these grounded plates that you have over there. 
So these are grounded traces that have a conductive voltage. 3.85, 3.75, 3.69, 3.64. We're done. Yeah. That's right, buddy. Okay. High five. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> Next in this lab, what you're going to do is that you're going to connect all voltages that are the same. And these lines that you're drawing, they're known as equal potential lines. Yo, man, eyes on your own paper. And when you have completed the drawing, your drawing would look something similar to this. And the last part of this assignment is to draw your E-field lines. Now your E-field lines should be orthogonal to the equal potential lines. Oh, look, I'm done. Good job, second photocopy. Yeah. Fist pump. So I hope that you enjoyed today's adventure. And for our more episodes, make sure you do your homework. To our next adventure together. Science! <laughs> <laughs>